Where are you going with that? What is that? That's camping stuff, isn't it? That's a... That's a chair for a blind. Well, then you put it with your stuff. It was over in the home decor section. It's getting real right now. It it's is. getting real real. It's getting real real. I'm ready to Movements. Go. It's like the awkward part about... How do they not sell homes better than now? Like, it's still so awkward where you have to... There should be a better solution. Yes, like the time frame of it. Does there, should it be, there should be a better solution. We're not moving out completely. We're starting a pre-move. So we are basically under contract on another home right now. Uh, this one is is going on the the showroom floor. And OSG has given me an ultimatum that I'm not really too happy about. The deer heads have got to go, she says. The deer heads have got to go. What? <laughs> Just, what? He's not happy with me. <laughs> I'm not happy with it. And also, my dear targets. People are saying, people are saying, there's not, that, that you're, I'm weird. I'm weird. I did not use that term. I said I'm you're strange. in the minority. I am in, in the minority because I like to kill and eat animals. No, no, I <laughs> said. You're in the minority that you, that we like to decorate with animals. A lot of people do not like that. So why do I have to get rid of the practice targets? Because it clutters up the yard. It clutters up the yard? Mm -hmm. In my mind, I'm thinking there might be a person that's like a huge outdoorsman that maybe looks at it like, oh, a, a bow target? Uh, yes, I can shoot my bow in the yard. Incredible advantage. I can get ready. And not to mention, we are going into archery season literally like in a month and a half. This is the biggest practice time. I got to take away my targets, taking away my deer heads, getting my juice out of whack. This is when moving is when the biggest fights of all happen. I think I can account for our three biggest fights being moving physical objects yeah. around yeah. the yard and home. Moving mattresses. Mattress is probably the biggest <laughs> one. Biggest pivot, one. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Four letter words flying. <laughs> flying. Now we, we do not fight, I don't know, maybe once in a quarter. One, not even that, really. <laughs> like once a year or something. And uh, the, the, oh, these, uh -huh. these were big. These were biggies. And we might have one today. So stay tuned. It's a Word has come down for corporate that the heads have to be taken down. I'm Everything not, must go. I am not happy about this. <laughs> This is my mad face. I might be sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> yeah. This is my my life's achievement in hunting. <laughs> okay. And where's this gonna go? This has to be safe. Do you see this fluff? This is salon fluff. <laughs> well, then you can bring it and then you can go pay it a visit every week and go give them a, a hair brushing. All right, let's start with the Shiner Ram. He's really just my drinking buddy. Oh man. So we'll, we'll throw him in the truck. Uh, I we'll think go. you can, oh gosh, I don't think you can what? what? Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second. Let's have a principled conversation <laughs> because you want me to take these heads down, but were you going to say leave these? I was, but fur? you're right. I would not, I, I wouldn't be making sense, would I? If you I told you. You would not be making logical sense. Yeah. Yeah. And, and especially when there's bloody arrows attached to the antler. Well, I was going to tell you to definitely take the arrows off. Okay. So you're telling me this is a more classy, maybe some granola muncher will enjoy this. <laughs> I don't but we'll be fearful of this. Let's, let's just take these down. Because I, I, I mean, these maybe, maybe it's got some Texas flair. You know, this over here, this is also covering up a little crap. <laughs> exactly. That's why I was like, no, you got to leave it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Am I allowed to leave my archery equipment next to the dead animals? <laughs> I don't know. That's a dead giveaway. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Shiner go in the truck. Oh, oh. shoot. 
Gotta watch those horns. I got my, my Shiner Ram. We also have Live Scope. Live Scope and Animal Heads. It's the story of the outdoorsman life. All right, it's time for the tar to go. We have our beautiful, uh, beautiful crappie next to our bourbon, next to our bow rack, which you installed, by the way. I did. A beautiful addition. <laughs> and then, and then you, you go and pull this off. I just really, rip it away yeah, from you. <laughs> you got to take the animal heads. You know, it, it's all the ambiance. It comes together. Hey, babe, we're gonna make the next house even better. I promise you. And let's just say, if, if we do get this home that we are looking at, I am excited because the man cave is probably the coolest part of the house. It is. I think you've got the best room in the house. The man cave is awesome. And this guy right here would be, he'd fit right in. So, let's, let's take him off. Bull tar. Bull tar. Himalayan tar from New Zealand. I nearly died. Uh, hiking up the mountain. I can still I can still smell his musk and I sometimes smell it in my dreams and in my backpack it literally smells like his, uh, his hide the musk off of this thing so these babies live at the top of the mountain I'm not sure I'll ever go back to uh, New Zealand and hunt another one of these I'm glad I did when uh, Amy was just born mm -hmm. before two kids and uh, you know things ensue with the body. So, let's go. Come on, buddy. Bull tie. Front seat, going in the front seat. And I, I, I pray that my parents' bulldog does not <laughs> He's gonna this. love that thing. Yeah. Oh, look at that, come on. <laughs> look, she rides, <laughs> she's gonna belt her in. He's gonna ride fine. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Strap him in. That's too much. I'm telling you. That baby's special. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's head to the other house. Which by the way, speaking of animals, uh, we were just over there. The turkeys are everywhere. There's like four or five turkeys that are just chilling in the yard. Hopefully they'll be there when we uh we head over. So let's see if we can see a gobbler or two. dragger back here. Big boy. Big boy coming in. Oh my gosh. There's a couple of nice toms in here. Wow, two beer draggers back there. Don't even care now. They're used to used to seeing us out here. Wish those two big boys would come into the light so you guys could see them there. Mondos. Anyway, there's basically five toms just hanging out in the yard. They do the regular thing. Looks like uh, LFD has got a armadillo or possum messing around back in here as well. I may or may not have uh, flung an arrow at one this morning. Uh, all I'll say is that um, game heads, like, you know, like small game heads, are uh, will penetrate through armadillo shells. My parents and I both live on the same lake. I'm a little bit farther down on a little deeper section, and they're more towards like the rip where the river starts to run in. And there's a few big creeks around their end and hogs, turkeys, all that stuff. They will come out here in these yards, in this, in these neighborhoods. Uh, mine's not as much, but here it's, it's so wide open with these turkeys. Uh, they like these little groves like this, you, you know, these oak trees where it's more spaced out, whereas like in, in my area, it's so thick 
I don't think the turkeys like to get in there because there's a lot of predators. Um, but they've got, uh, they, it seems like the turkeys hang out in people's yards more than they do out in the, in the woods because uh, they just feel safer out here. It's more cleared out. So anyway, that's something really cool about living where we are, being so close to the parents. Uh, if anyone is, has a grandparents nearby, they know, you know, it is, it is really nice. It's a blessing. Um, and we don't want to go too far from that. So something that we have to keep in mind. I, I kind of just want to move out in the middle of nowhere, you know, just, just get off the grid, but you got to take all things into account. You didn't see the turks I didn't even see them. It's like right on cue. Yeah. They just show up. They're, just, they're like the pets that hang around over here now. But they're almost where you could like hand feed them almost. Yeah. Almost, almost. My first buck ever. And it was uh, a little ahead of season, a sick deer. Had to call the game warden. Gotten, uh, got inspected and had, had a disease. Uh, came at me. Came, came at me with its horns, had to take it down. Okay, we have deer heads moved. We have a lot of other garage items moved. Just kind of been uprooted out of my my man cave, which is very emasculating and um, it's sad. And uh, the, final, the final straw, I've been told I, get, I need to move my 3D targets. My deers, my pigs, my little coyote out here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make the wife happy. <laughs> but we're coming into archery season, gotta practice. And you know, my one of my big stipulations on anywhere that we go is I need to be able to shoot a bow. Not only just for practicing for hunting season, it's, it's a great release. It's kind of like uh, fishing, you know? Can't go fishing, just get in the backyard, fling an arrow. It's, it's, it's mental therapy. I love it. Uh, so, I'm gonna take a few final shots here at the targets. Got my, got one of my bows. Uh, one of my bows already packed up, but I've got my backup right here. This is not the one that I, I used at the uh, the rally. This is my Core SS. Uh, by the way, we've had we've had a deer, the same doe that has visited us for probably four years here at the treehouse. She is old. She likes to sleep in your, uh, what are your plants called down here? She sleeps in your plants <laughs> sometimes at night. She eats them, but I kind of like having her around. It's pretty cool. She made a mess of my plants. I've never, I've never pursued any, uh, any deer in the yard. I like having them around. Good but vibes. Old, old Bucky, shoot him a lot. So uh, yeah, wherever we go, I gotta be able to shoot a bow. That's the rule. Good shots here. I haven't shot this bow in a minute, so we'll see. A little high. A little high. We'll make an adjustment shot. So um, I don't shoot a peep, but I shoot a nose button, and the difference between my other bow that I'm dialed with and this one is my nose position. It's like, it's like half an inch that I have to move and that is either on or it's off at 30 yards. A little high, but we're in the lungs. Oh, this bow feels nice. Really nice. Crisis on the prairie, guys. Big bird updates right now. We've got uh, cardinals up top. I'll show you guys in our, here in a minute, but I just discovered one of our Australorps, which we had an Australorp last year. Ended up dying in, the, in August, trying to lay an egg inside of the coop. It was really hot. They've got black feathers. They tend to overheat. And we've had a, just a still August hot day. And uh, anyway, this little girl right here, she's she's got heat exhaustion. So I've got the fan blowing on her. I've got the misters 
out here and Emmy's going to get some cold water. And we're gonna we're gonna bring her back to uh, bring her back to positivity. Good job, Emmy. I'm trying to get her some water. Some cold water. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna kind of pour it on her waddle right here. Huh? Let her drink a little bit. Oh, she's trying to drink. That's good. She's Cold. drinking. That's good. That's good. Yeah, can give I, her some water, Ben. Can I try? Yeah. Hmm. She's trying to drink. There she goes. It's quite big. Don't give her too much. A little bits at a time. That's tricky. Yeah, that's going to help. Look at that. All right, she's actually starting to sit her head up a little bit now. That's good. Save some. Okay, I'll just keep mine right here. Easy to work Come on, old girl, you can do it. Okay. There you go. Okay. She's getting better, Ben. Just stay out of her air. I don't know if uh, little Rio, as she's been named by my daughter, I don't know if she's gonna come through. I'm just gonna let her rest for a little while. Got her skin nice and wet. Got a fan on her. Give her some cold ice water. Um, on the other bird front, we have cardinals that have made a nest up here, and now there's babies that are up in there. Little babies calling for their mama. You hear them? But if we sit really still over here, she'll come. It's pretty cool. It's really, literally right by the back door. I hear the mom be bopping around back here. I don't want to stay up there because I want her to come back. I don't want to have multiple birds die on my watch today. <sighs> Let's go check on little Rio. She's still just laying there. She's got her main lids closed. They have like multiple lids. Her eyes underneath look fine. They look vibrant. It's like she's literally just sleeping like she's tired. Exhausted. I don't know. I'll come check on her before I go to bed. If I leave her out here, something will probably eat her. Hopefully she pulls through, guys. Hopefully she pulls through. Good morning, fishing freaks. I'm walking outside to check on our chicken, and I see a head popped up. This is a good sign. See if she'll actually pop up. Your old rooster buddy hasn't even started crawling yet. How you doing, young girl? Oh yeah, she's good to go. And see, there's your man calling you. Ah, oh, you were on the brink. You were on the brink. Can't wait to go give Emmy the good news. She's just waking up. You know, this is our first week of school, having to wake up early. And she had to go to bed kind of early last night. So, you know, she really didn't know how the chicken was gonna do. I said, she may not make it. But I said, why don't you say a prayer to her? And she's been learning about the archangels so anyway, she said a prayer, and it was, it was really sweet. Obviously, she was taking care of her. Ben was just kind of getting in the, in, in the way, but she's gonna be really excited to know that she's popped up and doing well. She's okay. She's okay? Yeah. Where is she? There she is. Rio, you're doing fine. Stop 
Let's let her join the flock. She just need a little prayer and some water. Does that work? I think the prayer really works. I think so. Anyway. She's all better, Bach. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where I kept her last night? I kept her in here with the fan on her. Did you leave it? Yep, I think it's a soft egg though. It is. Whoa! It's a soft egg. You know, she's not, she wasn't doing too hot. It's kind of weird, huh? It's like a little crunchy. I'm just gonna throw this one away. Yeah. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, life at the treehouse has returned to somewhat normal. So, thank you for tuning in today. If you want to see more vlogs, if you want to see more outdoor action, stay tuned. I've kind of been locked in here at the treehouse trying to get everything ready, fixed up, kids at school, but more adventures await, big opportunities await. So subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along. I'll see you guys on the next one.